What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. Welcome back to another life hack video. Right here next to me is Sin Fatal. He might look different these days, but he's still the same old Fatal. Now, Fatal, I gotta ask you something. When was the last time you were in school? Oh, geez, the last time I was in school, guys, I think T Rexes were still walking the earth. <laughs> <laughs> that old, huh? <laughs> no, I'm not that old, guys, but uh, yeah, it's, it's been quite a while for me. Uh, the last time I was in school. Well, since then, man, there's been a lot of life hacks going around. Life hacks that would have come in handy for you and me when we were back in school. I wish I would have had these that we're going to show you guys today. Yeah, they would have come in handy. They would have been lifesavers for us. Yeah. Unfortunately, they weren't there for us, but they are there for you. So in this video, we're going to be showing you guys some really cool life hacks that could work with school supplies or at school or anywhere that you require school supplies. So before we begin, Let's make sure that you guys are subscribed to this channel with the bell notifications turned on. That way you guys don't miss out on my upcoming videos, including 5 ways to get more Halloween candy. Let's get this rolling, said Fatal. Check it out. Hey, no. Check it out. What's up guys? So for this first one, I have an eraser here. Now, you wouldn't typically do much with an eraser, but I'm gonna make a decoration out of this for your desk at school or for your house, for your parents out there. You guys wanna have a cool little uh, eraser holder. And basically what I'm gonna use it for is for these sheets right here. Now, for example, I have a cheat sheet. So this goes out to you students out there that are sitting in class and want a cheat sheet. So basically the teacher's over there and she has no idea what you have in those cheat sheets. You're gonna put that one right here and it's facing you. She has no idea, right? So it works out perfectly. And over here, we have some math formulas. Uh, don't need those. Uh, this one comes in handy if you wanna be rich. Oh, definitely. This one, some test notes, eh, whatever. And uh, right here, it looks like we have SB contact. All right, guys, so let's get started on this now. So for this hack, guys, all you guys need is uh, Handy dandy. Dandy dandy dandy. Knife. It's a blade. Basically, you're just gonna make some, some cuts in the side. You don't wanna go too deep, guys. And the cool thing about this, guys, this eraser cost me $1 at the dollar store. And it's pretty big. Typically, erasers like this will last you a lifetime. Cause come on, look at the size of this thing. For $1, I could go from elementary school to high school with this thing. Pretty much. <laughs> So I'm gonna make some cuts. Basically, I have one, two, three, four, five, six cards here. And I will demonstrate about three of them so you guys can get the gist of what I'm talking about. So let's get started with that now. Now, you don't wanna go too deep, guys. Just make a cut that's good enough to slide the card in about half the size of the eraser. And you should be good with that. Make two more. It looks like you're cutting cheese. Yeah, it, it'll slide on it just like cheese. I don't recommend using these for you kids out there. All right, so I made three cuts there, as you guys can see, look at that. One, two, three. Look at that flexibility. Yeah, look at the flexibility. The erasers are so cool when it comes to this stuff that if you cut them, they'll bend and they'll hold their shape again, just like that. Can you guys see the cuts? Oh, they disappeared. Yeah. But you bend it over like that and they're right there. So it's pretty cool. Now, all you do is just set it down. You take the best ones, like for example, the lottery numbers. Who in the hell doesn't want to be rich, right? So we'll put that one right in here. Look at that. Wow, it holds it up, huh? Holds it up pretty perfectly, guys. Uh, typically when you guys get home, your parents are gonna want to see your grades, right? So if they're good like this, see these are good grades. I don't think your parents want to see these bad ones, A's and B's, right? But if you do have good ones or if you have bad ones, regardless, your parents are going to want to see them, right? So um, you want to show them off, you just take it and put it right in the slit for your parents to see, put it on their desk, just like I'm doing there. And look at that, guys. Isn't that pretty cool? You guys got a little decoration holder for your desk or for your office. Any, anywhere you guys really want to put this, it'll look really cool. You just pull them out just like this. And then voila guys, you got a full eraser that you could just grab like normal and erase something. Or you could split that eraser 
you actually could if you guys want smaller portions and share with your friends yeah so there you guys go guys that's a cool little life hack that you guys could do at home or at school or wherever you guys think works for me works for me too we all use all kinds of school supplies at school or at home what i have right here is a mechanical pencil you guys might have one of these in your backpacks now these you guys can refill them once the lead is gone so inside you can clearly see that you can put new lead in there. And let me see if I have any. Yep. I got two little sticks in there. But once you run out, you just resort to your container of lead. And there you're going to have an abundance of lead sticks. But what happens when you lose the container? And these are very vulnerable. They're very fragile. They easily break. For example, this one. Yeah, when I was in school, those things broke so easily that it was just a joke to have them. Yeah, it's not even worth it at that point. But how do you keep these protected? Well, you can use another school supply, and that school supply is a stack of staples. Now, this one is too long, so I'm going to break it in half like this. And now we're going to put them together, guys. I'm going to use a piece of tape to hold both pieces together. So now they won't split. They're identical twins, guys, so they should not be split. So now my container's ready, and I'm gonna put my lead sticks in there. Just like that, look at them, they're in there. They're protected now. And I'm gonna keep them in there where they piece of tape. So these little guys are not going anywhere. And that's it, guys. Whenever you guys need some lead sticks, you know where they're at, with your staples. All right, so for this life pack, guys, as you guys can see here, I have a calendar, right? And I also have my marker that I usually write on my calendar with. Now, the problem that I have here is, as you guys can see here, I have a calendar. It has Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, basically all the days of the month. And I have my Sharpie here. And do you guys see a problem? Well, I'm going to tell you what the problem is. After you're done marking your calendar, for example, we're done with Sunday. We're on Monday. Well, the problem is that once you're done writing, you have no place to put your marker. I have a little hack for you guys that will take care of that problem. And all you guys need for that is a little paper clip like I have here. Now, what you guys want to do and how this works is you just want to insert the Sharpie or the pen, whatever you guys have, into the little paper clip on the side, just like that. And then you want to bend it over just a little bit like that to make it like a little hook on it, guys. Now, you just connect it to your push pin and look at that guys it hangs it looks awesome it looks really really awesome guys and it looks more professional now the next time you need it pop it right off of the push pin take off your little paper clip put that back up there and then you're ready to go again so it looks like Wednesday I'm doing full yoga not doing it there you guys go Pretty awesome life hack. Anybody could do it. No effort, guys. Look at that. So you find yourself watching a video, a Cinex TV video, at school, right? But it gets annoying having to hold your phone at all times. If teacher gave you free time and he or she allowed you to use your phone, why not take advantage of it and relax? Kick back, guys, and have your phone stand there, but it's not gonna stand on its own. So let me show you a cool way that you guys can make your phone stand. And all you need for that is a pen. Now these are very common pens. I actually got a pack of these. It was like three pens for $1.99 at Walmart. These will last you a very long time and they have good quality. Well, this one is pretty much dead. It has no ink in there already. So I'm gonna recycle it, guys. And the way I'm gonna do that is, if you look at the clip, right here on the cap it's flexible so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend it at a 90 degree angle just like that and that's basically it if you look at the end of the clip there's like a little hook now this hook will also come in handy because it'll support our phone so all I gotta do is stand the pen up like this and then I'm going to rest the phone on it so it's going to lean on it. And that's it. How cool is that, right? But I want to watch a Cinex TV video. Anyway, look. Yep, learning how to do some cool Halloween life hacks. It's just that simple, guys. All you need is one of these pens.
So what I have here is a clipboard, guys. I have actually I have two of them, as you guys can see, and they also have good grades on them. Like I have an F plus on this one, and I got a good old fashioned F minus on this one. <laughs> That's as good as they're gonna get. It's huh? as good as they're gonna get. So basically, um, if I'm outside of class and I'm writing down things on this paper, like I did here, and um, it gets annoying to have to flip through the pages up and down like I'm doing here, right? So what I've done for this life hack is you need two clipboards and what you want to do is you want to remove these papers just like I'm going to do here. Afterwards guys, you want to flip them back to back, put them against each other. And then you want to take a piece of scotch tape and put it all around the corners. And I guess you guys can see where I'm going with this one, right? So let me do that for you guys now. Just like that. You guys see how I put it on one side and right on the other side right there? And you guys want to do that on every corner just so it can hold it firm. All right, so I finished every corner as you guys can see right here. Now basically what you guys have is two clipboards back to back with each other. And so the next time you're in class or you're outside of class, which it works best outside of class, and you got your... Uh, nice reading F right here and you're looking over your math score and also a good grade you got those set up so you're you're essentially going over your stuff right and say you're doing this working on this one right guys now if you need to flip over you don't have to go up and down anymore and crease your paper if you want all you do is just this and bam now you're on the reading side now you you guys do not have to do it as fast as me. I'm pretty fast, but that was you, ninja speed right there. That was ninja speed, and all you guys want to do is just have fun with it. It's so simple to do, guys. You just gotta put tape on the corners like I did there, and it's a cool little hack to have. So there you guys go. See how simple those life hacks were? Yeah, very simple to do, guys. No effort whatsoever. Pretty common stuff you have at your house. Pretty much. There's school supplies, so they can use these at school or in their work office, wherever they store their school supplies. They're very simple, guys, so try them out. They might save your life at some point. If you enjoyed these hacks that we just showed you, I hope you gave this video a big thumbs up and that you guys subscribe to this channel. You can also check us out where? Cynics TV, guys. If you haven't heard of us, definitely check us out. It's a collab channel that me and Nex have. And you guys will learn a lot of cool stuff and we're gonna develop a lot of new content for you guys so stay tuned for that yeah if you guys are looking for halloween ideas and like life hacks for halloween well, you can find them there at cinex tv thank you guys so much for stopping by we'll see you pranksters in the next video so i'm gonna use these four for the pencil grip that i'm about to make so basically guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the eraser caps in half like this we're gonna slide the pencil through them like this. Perfect, look at that. You have yourself a pencil grip. And I'm gonna take some white out, take some of this, and just fill up my cap. And I'm just gonna cover the cap like this. 